Hey there! Here's a Victorinox 2008 Soldier's Knife that I have for sale in my Etsy shop with custom Bocote wood scales. Now this is the exotic hardwood from Mexico or Central America with a really striking grain pattern. And I think this is just a beautiful piece here. I just love it. It looks great front and back. It just has a lot of character and I just love this little doohickey here. Um, and I've kind of stretched my wings on this one and have fitted it for a, t a pair of tweezers on the front. So we've got a pair of tweezers here and uh, they work really nicely. Tuck right in there. And uh, it was not easy for me to do. Um, but I decided that uh, we'd try to include that scale tool on this one. Uh, there are no, there is no toothpick. No, I'm sorry, no flimsy plastic worthless toothpick. Uh, on this one because it does have a very useful uh, stainless steel bead blasted stainless steel deep carry pocket clip. So the fit on this one is good. I'm just very pleased how it came out. Uh, this is a used knife. I'll walk through it here in a moment. So expect some light scratches on the blade and tools, but it functions perfectly and it's clean and it's sharp and it's oiled. Uh, you know, I've thought about putting these custom scales on brand new trekkers and soldiers knives, uh, but the cheapest I can find a trekker new is about 50 bucks. So you know, if you start with a $50 knife and then I have to buy the uh, exotic wood and uh, the pocket clip and hardware uh, all the time I put into it, I would have to charge uh, probably more than a lot of people would be willing to pay for a knife like this. So uh, we just start with a good used knife to keep the price down. So this is a soldier, one hand opening, locking main blade, partially serrated. This one is a, uh, a 2011. And there's the can opener, small screwdriver. Here's the large screwdriver cap lifter. It does have a half stop and it locks. Here's the wood saw. And on the back side, we have a Phillips driver, sharpened reamer, key ring, and a custom deep carry bead blasted stainless steel pocket clip. Um, this clip could be removed. I don't recommend it though. It is uh, screwed and glued and uh, so it's possible to take them off but I would recommend not buying this knife unless you want one with the pocket clip. Uh, it carries really well. Uh, let me cut and put a, a shot of this in my pocket. And um, I think this is just what these 111 millimeter knives are begging for. They're begging for a good clip. Uh, they're really pretty easy to carry in the pocket with one, while without one, they're pretty impossible. And, you know, Victorinox puts a clip on its uh, Sentinel model, but they're a piece of crap. The reason Victorinox can't do a nice clip like this is because all their scales are hollow plastic. So, okay, that's for sale in my Etsy shop. Thanks for watching.